On July 19th and 20th, 2004, in a cooperative effort sponsored by Superior Products Mountain States Incorporated, a 24-hour measurement and verification analysis was performed on supertherm coatings in the Denver, Colorado area. For the purpose of this test, two identical structures were built consisting of 48 square feet of control zone area inside each building. Though the appearance of each building is identical, the outside surfaces were coated with different materials. The facility on the left was coated with supertherm protective coatings, while the facility on the right was coated with standard latex paint. Both buildings were constructed using standard construction materials consisting of wood framing, standard OSB wall and roof sheetings with a standard galvanized metal roof, and James Hardy board external wall coverings. Two types of insulation was also added to certain members inside the control zone to see the effectiveness of the Supertherm product in enhancing the performance characteristics of standard insulation products. At this point, an array of data collection devices were attached to specific points of interest within the control zone. Over 7,250 data points were recorded at two-minute intervals for a 24-hour period, with additional independent testing being done on actual energy flow rates and thermographic analysis. As can be clearly seen in the thermographic analysis, the building coated with the Supertherm product obviously outperforms the standard constructed building. The energy flow analysis clearly indicated that it takes 30% less energy to heat or cool the building coated with the Supertherm product. Moisture levels inside the building coated with the Supertherm product were also significantly reduced. The performance of the standard type of insulation was also significantly enhanced in the building coated with the Supertherm product. The data clearly indicated that these enhancements and savings take place on roof members as well as wall members, even with the adverse weather conditions we experienced that gave us a minimal amount of actual solar gain. Due to the adverse weather conditions that we were experiencing, we would expect that our data should be considered conservative at best. Even with the adverse weather conditions we were experiencing, our office considers this test extremely successful. There is no reason to believe that the addition of this product to new construction materials for new buildings or as a retrofit on existing buildings would not help the building qualify for its ENERGY STAR rating. Aside from the obvious energy savings benefit that this product produces, it also has another unique property in that it could significantly reduce the heat island effect being caused by buildings in highly populated urban areas. We thank you for your time and please feel free to contact our office if you have any questions.